So in this video we're going to work out how to calculate the degrees of freedom for a chi-squared test. Now this calculation for degrees of freedom is specific for the chi-squared test or the Pearson's chi-squared test. Now the formula for that is degrees of freedom. Now the degrees of freedom are critical in trying to calculate what's called the critical value when you're trying to compare it to the test statistic value. So that's going to work out if there's any correlation between the columns and the rows or not. So degrees of freedom. So how we calculate that is we take the number of columns. So and we'll look down. So columns and we subtract one. And then what we do is we multiply this by the rows minus one. And that's going to give us our degrees of freedom. So let's work it out for this one. So for test one, we've got columns minus one. So we've got three columns. So we'll write it just above. So degrees of freedom equals three minus one. That's our columns, then multiply that by the rows minus one. So there's two rows, subtract one. So now we've got three minus one, that's two, and then times that by one. So the degrees of freedom for this one is two. Test number two, columns minus one. So we've got four columns. So let's just write that up here. So four columns, subtract one, multiply that by the rows, minus one. There's three rows, sorry, four rows, subtract that by one. So that becomes three times three. So then that gives us nine degrees of freedom for test two. Test three, so columns minus one. So degrees of freedom, two columns, subtract one and rows minus one so we've got three rows so then we're left with one times two so that equals two so test number three has got two degrees of freedom now for test four so degrees of freedom here so columns minus one so we've only got two columns subtract one and the rows minus one, two rows, subtract one. So then we've got one times one, so that's one. So test number four has only got one degree of freedom. Okay.